Does your store desperately need some organization? Maybe you have too many products or your products are scattered around. If you want your customers to be able to have a better way to explore what you have to offer, collection filters are a great way to do this. There's a lot of apps out there that you can pay for that will create these filters for you, but they're slow to load and you get this flicker effect. What we'll be looking at today is Shopify's native solution for collection filters that doesn't flicker, doesn't cost anything, and should have all the features that most of you will need. And if you find that it doesn't quite work for you, I have a custom solution that I'll share in another video. So check that out in the description below. All right, let's get started. So first we'll take a look at Lululemon's website. You can see here on the left side, they have this uh, collection filters here. And so we're gonna build something like this using Shopify's native solution. So what you can do is you can go into your theme editor and just hop over into the collections area. Default collection. And then you can hit product grid. And then in the menu that shows up, you're gonna see an option here that says enable filtering. So we're gonna turn that on. Um, but it also says here, customize filters with the search and discovery app. So in order to actually um, make edits to the filters that are available, you're going to need to download this app. And so you can find that in the Shopify app store. It's this one right here, Shopify search and discovery. And it just essentially creates an, ad an additional menu for you to edit your filters. And so we're going to save that. Um, we're going to install this, which I've already done in this case. And we're going to come back out and go to your apps area. So you can go to your apps area and then search and discovery. And then it essentially looks like a regular Shopify menu, uh, but it is in the form of an app. Um, and you've got all these different uh, features here. So what we can do here is we can customize your filter. And right now we've got these two labels already created. So we've got product type and color. So if I actually go to our store right now, it doesn't have any filters, but if I refresh, because we enabled the filtering, those two filters show up. So we've got product type and we've got color. Um, and you can actually see that right now it's at the top. So it's a horizontal filter. Um, let me open up a new tab. So we'll go back to our theme editor and customize and let's go back into our collections area okay so here there's these features on uh, which layout we want so right now we're seeing horizontal uh, but we can also make it vertical so it shows up on the left side or a drawer so when you click it it actually pops out like this. So you can actually customize that to your liking. Um, I see most stores use a vertical filter, so let's just use that for now. And now we can refresh, and we can see it on the left side here. All right, so let's say, you know, in this case, we have products with um, different product types. So we can actually say, okay, we want a hoodie, we want to filter by hoodie. Maybe we want to filter by the color that's available, but these are this is clothing, so there's a variant in here that's also size. Um, so what we can do is we can add a filter, and we can see all the options available here. So product options, those are your variants, um, and you can see their size is available. So we can actually add size in there, and we can save. And once we refresh our website, you're going to see their size becomes available. Um, what else can we do? We can look at some other filter options. So we can come back here. You can see that there's tags available. Um, you can filter by price uh, and also meta fields. So if you have special meta fields that you've added to your products, you can filter by those as well. Um, tags is going to be probably one of the most popular ones um, because we can organize our products by all sorts of tags. So you can add tags in there. And you can see all the different tags available um, for all the different products. And there's actually this new feature that just came out with uh, Dawn version 12 that was released maybe a week ago. And it allows you to change the logic for or or end. Right? So those, those, those are the two options. So 
um, what this is doing is if you have it set to or, if we select say black and clothing, then it will show the products that have either black or clothing um, or both. If you have it as the and condition, then it will only show the products that have both black or and clothing. So if it was only black or only clothing, it won't show either of those. So that's that's the new feature there. Um, it allows you to have a little bit more control over how your filters work for your customers. Okay, so um, that's the filtering side, uh, but there's actually a few other features available here. So we also have this feature here to promote your products. So we can add a product boost and we can create product boost. So let's say we want to boost the t-shirt here. So we'll select our product. And if we go to our store right now, we can we can search for a term. So let's say uh, comfort. And right now, nothing's really coming up. Right? We search for comfort. Um, it just shows all the products. Nothing, nothing really uh, happening there. But we can create a boost term. So we can actually put comfort in here, add it to... Uh, this t-shirt, save that. And then now if we kind of go back and uh, refresh, if we search for this term now, you can see that it pops up. Um, whereas before, nothing came up. So that just gives us uh, some ability to, to control the search terms that will find the products in your catalog. We also have this option to create uh, synonym groups. So let's take a look at that. We can create a synonym group. And so let's say right now we've got this t-shirt here. And if we're going to search for T, for example, then nothing will come up. Um, but let's say we want customers to be able to find the t-shirt if they just type in T. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this t-shirt as one synonym word, and we're going to add T as a second one. And we'll save that as the t-shirt synonym group. So now if we refresh and search for T, you can see right there, we find the t-shirt. So there we have it, filters for your collection page. It's really quick to add to your store. Um, it's free and it's got tons of great features. So I think for the vast majority of you, this is all you really need. Now, a little bit of a nuance with the tags, it actually is gonna pull every single tag on the products from your collection. So if you have some internal tags that you only use because um, you need to organize them on the back end and they're not for customers to see, those are still gonna show up. So like clothing too, that doesn't make sense for a customer. One way to get around that is to just create a special meta field to organize the products however you like with the customer facing information that they'll need to see. I have another video coming up with a different style of collection filters. Um, it takes a bit of a different approach, uh, but I think you guys will like it. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you have any questions on anything I've shown here, just add it to the comments below. Let me know if you like this. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.